pretend we started now. Hello. We've Sorry. crossed the <laughs> threshold <laughs> into the internet place. Hi, I'm Paula. There we go. <laughs> so we can do that again. So, the pretense of this session is KR might die in 30 minutes, so we need to go fast. <laughs> <laughs> we, need to, we need to employ the speedrun tactics and go. Four hours in the no next 30 minutes the right now. 32 minutes. Clip through the ground. Just yep. do it. <laughs> Clip through the ground, get to level 20, win the campaign. Done. Anyway. T take, a, take a plate, lean against the wall with a plate, you fall through the <laughs> fall through the wall <laughs> and end up further in a dungeon. <laughs> Actual Skyrim thing. Of course this. I dropped my sword once in Skyrim and it Fell through the floor into another dungeon. Oh. That sounds and right. It was like a Daedric weapon, too. I got really oh, no. fucking depressed. Oh, that blow. I'm so sorry. Because I could not find that dungeon. Oh, no. Anyway, we're not playing Skyrim. That took how I would say otherwise. Uh, I might go would, play Skyrim. I'm glad I'm not DMing for fucking Todd Howard, guys. Jesus. <laughs> Todd Howard or I... Todd Coward. If any of you are Todd Howard, I'll kill you for your <laughs> transgressions against me in Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> Todd Howard is watching. Wait, watch what you say. <laughs> okay. Ain't no one here fears <laughs> Todd Howard. He's released the same game. He can only For release Skyrim. He's a cursed man. He, that's the only thing man. he knows. We'll fall through the ground. And okay, who knows it's literally 30 minutes. We gotta go. <laughs> you guys ready to play Dungeons & Dragons? We no, but we're get, going. Get, 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 go. Hello, my travelers. It's time, once again, for Dungeons & Dragons. Gather around the fire, children. What? I'm in the fire. <laughs> what are you talking about? So, last session was just pure campfire, and some things happened between Rizlon and Reverence. <laughs> the longest yeah. yeah boy ever in the distance. A couple things happened. We'll leave those in the other episode. <laughs> you um, should, because if you talk start talking more, about it, it was I'll mostly... die. I talked Nord. to Nor and realized Nor doesn't know anything about most anything about himself except toot toot and tattoos. <laughs> Nord and Nor gained a relationship point. <laughs> and Ten, Fulmar, and Margaret had an nope. uncomfortable talk nope. on floor. Nope. <laughs> Incorrect. No. Uh, Penelope nope. and Margaret. Chance <laughs> came back. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Chance came back from the wilds. He's here. That was Noah. They're both <laughs> tall. I mean, they're like the same, right? They're the same, no. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, you're good. I thought <laughs> it was funny. Made a big mistake. <laughs> anyway. Um, and Mare had a nightmare. Drag him. So, it's the next morning, um, you don't really spend a lot of time preparing around the campfire today. Everyone packs their stuff up pretty fast and gets on horsebacks and you fucking go again. Um, at this point you're getting more used to traveling for long periods of time on horseback. Um, but it's around noon that you get to this massive tree. We're talking, <laughs> like, in the middle of all of these normal trees, almost sequoia large, like, huge redwood, almost, tree. And, um, this is where you all stop, and it's only the afternoon when you get here. And, um, Margaret looks to all of you and says, Now there's, this gets 
a bit dangerous here. I hope you're all prepared. Reverence looks excited. Um, she turns to Sam, who sort of nods and turns to this giant tree, and he approaches it and places a hand on its bark, and for like a solid minute, nothing happens, and it's just kind of uncomfortable as you're all like, Margaret gave you this warning, and now you're just like watching a man like just <laughs> touch a tree. <laughs> Um, and then, very suddenly, the tree just sort of splits in half, and you see this m giant portal open up across the surface of this tree, and beyond it, just swirling magic, and without a second, Doc Samuel steps in and Margaret follows. And then... More the white follows, and the rest of the guild begins to follow. <laughs> no, Reverend holds is like, out. fuck yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. And she goes, and He's got the brilliant fucking in. smile on his face. <laughs> she is through that portal. Yeah. Spirit <laughs> goes, This is some fay ass shit. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright. Noom. Uh, Noom. Noom. Uh, yeah, you all cross this threshold, and it is a sensation and a half. For a moment, it's kind of like being underwater. None of you can breathe, and there's just this feeling of pressure pushing you around in ways you can barely manage, and you all struggle to cross through. And it's not small. This You have to walk the entire... Um diameter of this tree to reach the other end of this portal and when you step out of the other side of the tree it's entirely different than where you just were it's like you stepped forward out of the cold and into a warm house everything is just pleasant and smells wonderful and is hideously colored and you find yourself oh, in this very strange forest that looks nothing like any forest you've ever been in. I roll for a fade check! You don't even don't have know. to. <laughs> I'm home! The second you step through this tree, Mary, you feel revitalized. You don't feel shitty or tired or cold. It's like it's spring for you again. Yeah, as soon as they go through the portal, Mary just sort of looks forward, looks all around, and is like, What? <laughs> For the first time in a long while, you hear his voice go up further, What? Margaret gives you all a smile as you all slowly emerge from the portal. Pen is extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is that plant? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> yeah, this is... Everything is... The trees are pink. <laughs> and everything seems... It feels almost summery. Like, it's not cold at all. Um, there's... All the plants here look strange and... Like, they've come out of some kind of fantasy storybook. And it's glowing. <laughs> It's not actually merit, this is <laughs> the vibe. Like no joke, like I assume the horses like gather in a space or do we keep walking? Cause, they like, gather as merit and as and Mark Gray and everyone waits for the everyone to enter through the portal. Cause Merritt does like get off his horse briefly, take off of the winter jacket and just sort of walk around. Not too far from his horse, but just... just walks. Yeah. <laughs> a gleam in his eye that has not been there, especially for the morning. 
the entire morning he was like any sort of progress he made to being a little more cheery for the winter was sort of gone. I, I assume we remember having a nightmare, but not the nightmare yeah. itself. You yeah, remember so. vaguely having a bad dream. But yeah, th that whole bad feeling had stuck with him, and it's just sort of very quickly gone. Because <laughs> he's here. <laughs> Mostly gone, anyway. Yeah. Um, you all gather and wait for the rest of the group to step through this massive portal, which... Um... Pen? Roll a nature check, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sam, <Sick>. yeah. <laughs> um... You have heard of... Creating, you're a druid. You've heard of fucking portals. <laughs> I have you've some heard druid of, friends. You've got some druid friends who are pretty good at portals and shit. And trees? And you've seen tree stride. And you've probably seen, to some extent, the planner, planer, you know, transitioning. This is like some strange bastardization of both? Because... Hmm. The tree portal stays open for longer than six seconds, and you most certainly are not on your plane anymore. And, um, as everyone else finds their way out of this tree, uh, the portal closes again, and it's like the tree just grows back together perfectly. And this tree itself is still massive, but now it's glowing white, and it's, it's like this weird beacon in the middle of these pink candy trees. <laughs> Cotton candy trees. Reverence is like staring around in wonder. Like she keeps like twirling, look at looking at everything. Noah ha still has the big ass smile on his face, but like you can see in his eyes, he's got like a raised brow. He's confused. <laughs> he just <laughs> He's like Magre. Which astral plane have you taken us to? She grins at you for a few moments before turning to the group and saying, Well, uh, welcome to the Feywilds. Reverence's head snaps towards Merit. <laughs> Merit, she, she's Merit got like a big just sort of <gasps> at Rev. She looks very excited for you, on your behalf this time, <laughs> but also in general. But, Merit, um, looking around, does Merit recognize this place specifically at all? I assume not, but... Um, no. It's, I mean, a lot of the forest obviously looks the same, and you've yeah. got some experience with the forest. It's not your mother's forest at all, and it doesn't seem to be anywhere you've been. That's fair. Because he, he remembers a fair bit of the Feywilds, but not the entirety. Or at least in the concentrated area of Mother's yep. Forest, so that's fair. Plus it shifts all the time. We don't talk about it. <laughs> but yeah, it's just sort of like... Like he's looking around, smiling, and then looks over to Margaret and goes, this is, is this where we're hunting? She gives you a grin. Oh, boy. I said it was a little dangerous. <laughs> a little. A little bit. Say. A little. N All right. Just a little. <laughs> she gives you a wink. <laughs> Mary's still kind of smiling, but just shakes his head. <laughs> <laughs> gets back like, on his horse. You crazy motherfucker! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. Well, it's certainly not going to be boring, at least. <laughs> um, Marguerite clears her throat, sort of gestures to you and everyone else, and says, Now, I know some of you have heard this before, and nods to the older guild members, and says, However, for our new members, this is a closed-off section of the Feywilds. There is a limited amount of space. 
there's a perimeter about 4,000 square feet all around us. We... <laughs> you can't cross it for safety reasons, and other things can't cross it for our safety reasons. So, we're uh, trapped in here with whatever's in here. <laughs> but... Well, I would hope. Yes. If you can always think of it as they're trapped in here with us, not the other way around, if that comforts <laughs> you at all. <laughs> there Eric slightly shakes his head again. <laughs> <laughs> there is well, <laughs> let's talk about our hunt, shall we? It's been a bit since we haven't. It's been a year. <laughs> <laughs> it's been an entire year. There is a creature that lives in these woods, and it is going to want to kill you. It's not happy. It's it's never happy. Our trick is we have to kill it first. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now, <laughs> Reverend is just nodding along like she completely understands what's going on. She doesn't. <laughs> no, it's... You'll know it when you see it. It will be one of the more prominent creatures in this forest. However, with it travels the rest of our hunt, the herds of deer. Like I said, you will know this creature when you see it. Normally, we split off into four groups and take a corner of the perimeter each and then slowly work our way around the entire place until we have found all that we can find and hopefully not died. Now, here, and she reaches into her bag and pulls out three, three um, glowing red stones. And she says, these stones can allow us to communicate with each other. I also have one. In case one of us gets in some trouble, and it's to prevent us from all dying, essentially. However, we'll, I'll divvy these out when we split into groups. She puts them back. Say, sorry to interrupt, but say we run into this big bad roar. This is his hands over his head, like at least uh, we can see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, do we have like an area we all would? Converge to to try and take on this big bad. Well, usually that's a plan we discuss now that we are here. <laughs> there are areas, of course, we can lure it to. We've hunted this place for several years now. Usually, what happens is it either we find it or it finds us first. One of the groups calls out to the others, and we try our best to not get killed as the others converge on it, and then we kind of act on the space. It's difficult to lure it around, so plans usually don't rely on geography. No one knows. Also, a word of warning to all of you who've never been to the Feywild. <laughs> Maybe don't eat things just, like, on the ground, or if you see someone talking to you, you know, just the general rule of, like, don't follow strangers? <laughs> Pen looks confused. <laughs> Do be wary of any music. It's usually far too charming. It'd be a bit of a trouble to get you out. Music, little creatures with wings, anything that just, like, looks strange or appetizing. If it looks the opposite of strange, it's probably also strange, is the thing. Basically anything, if you're unsure, just like, avoid it. <laughs> just don't. Just don't touch it. Just don't. So just avoid don't touch everything. Anything. Don't touch anything. That's what Most things, yes. Saying. Okay. Got you. Most of the things, I'm just saying. <laughs> Who knows? I get it. Don't touch anything. But there are some things that are, you know, this fine, and I, if you want to experiment with them, be my guest. I'm not at liability here. Goodness. Okay. 
Well, I heard the Fey Wilds is a wild place, but. Uh... Oh boy. <laughs> Ravage just groans. <laughs> I didn't even mean to make that. <laughs> it's there now. It's there now. No. Shall we set up a small camp before we all spread our ways and plan? Sounds good. May as well. Good. <laughs> And, um, everyone sort of demounts from the horses, ties them up, you know. They don't set up a camp in the sense that everyone's getting ready to s settle for the night, of course. It's just sort of a, like, let's sit down, fucking figure out what we're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> um, Margaret pulls out a map of the area, and it is crude, hand-drawn, <laughs> and not entirely <laughs> accurate. <laughs> and it's not That's as pretty it. as the actual thing you have drawn for us. <laughs> In layman's terms. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, there is... She points to the... She, everything is geographically ma marked out. This, like, the river and... Um, to the southeast, there is a... The forest pulls back into this massive, like, prairie, essentially, where the biomes begin meeting, and some of the prairie is within the perimeter. Um, Margaret explains the water is mostly clean to eat, but again, if you see something weird happening with the water, just don't drink it. <laughs> or, like, go down up upstream. Not downstream, god. <laughs> um, the central tree is for the most part, seen on all corners of the map. Like, you can go to the very edges and still be able to see it, depending on the leverage. Um, she says, So the creature we are hunting is a ethereal being to some extent. It's not very corporeal most of the time. It looks like a deer but much larger and it has a tendency to glow so it sticks out quite a bit uh, does merit recognize this description at all um hard to say i mean there's a lot of very strange animals there's a lot of glowy weird <laughs> there's a lot of glowing yeah. and different sized animals in the fey wild so it's not like jumping out at you, but it's not unrealistic. But it's just like, Merit's nodding along. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like something. Okay. It's just, yeah. this is the zone I had to ask. Okay. We're here. Fuck. <laughs> um, she explains to you that this giant elk-like creature generally seems to create deer not even in like um <laughs> not even in like a deer fucking kind of set just like deer appear around this thing okay and every this is she says this is why they come here every year this really strange creature just seems to be a perfect endless supply of meat <laughs> So, what you, she explains what you have to do is capture it, capturing it is the bare minimum of what needs to be done, because then uh, the others can swarm in and hunt on the other deer, and in the best case scenario is kill it, it doesn't seem to die, more as leave the plane for a little amount of time and come back at some point during the year again to begin this all over again for some strange reason. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Just spawn. 
This is this is an object that spawns the deer entity. <laughs> I'm just yeah, I'm just I'm seeing the Minecraft days where they're just spawn, no. you, you know. <laughs> Backslash spawn deer. <laughs> yeah. It's just a fucking spawn cage. It's just a spawn cage, yeah. You can farm this deer. <laughs> but do we have enough coal? Anyway. <sighs> um So yeah, um sort of make sure everyone's clear on the this thing and she adds Now most of you are probably thinking it's just a deer, it's not going to kill me other than maybe like step on me. You are incorrect. This is not a deer. I don't know what this thing is. Like I said, it's a weird creature. However, it will hunt you down and attempt to kill you. We're in the as, wilds. Everything yes. will. As far as it's concerned, we are in its territory to some extent. And it's not wrong. We are in its territory. Very deep. And it will not be happy. <laughs> when it spots us or catches word. So for the most part, try your best and don't leave any scraps behind, you know, bury your campfires, make it look like you weren't there. And maybe you won't get hunted by some kind of crazy deer. <laughs> no one nods and smile on his face. Yeah, Robert is still just like nodding along. Like, yeah, uh-huh, okay, sure, sure. It's yeah. smelling bit killer deer. like uh -huh. less, but he's he's like yeah this par for the course not what I was expecting but he, okay. Melly <laughs> kind of turns to the rest of the party like he says, "Y'all have learned to cover your tracks, right?" Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Reverence nods like like a real sincere. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Guess who's proficient in survival, bitch? <laughs> I think Half most of us party. might be. <laughs> it, yeah, everyone. <laughs> it turns out everyone. I guess all of us have lived in the woods at some point, yes. huh? Mm -hmm. Hey, did Nora live in the woods Nora? at some point? <laughs> <laughs> We've all fucking important, lived in the woods. The more important question, can he cover his tracks, actually? Eh? <laughs> if he can't, one of us can cover them for him. Oh, yeah. Between the rest of us. Hover yeah. on his ass. <laughs> are, the, are the horses and Lilith just like, oh, weird nature? <laughs> the horses... They they were pretty spooked walking through the portal. Coming out is just like you can hear them. They're like, oh my <laughs> Sometimes I forget that Meredith can hear them just scream. They're just in the background like Ah <laughs> <laughs> Merit's life is just this is a constant background sound of screaming of nature in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> and like, a couple of them are like, nibbling at the grass and like, It tastes weird! <laughs> God, I love hearing you do animals. It's very good. Just like, it's really it's good. one of my favorite parts of this. It's, it's so good that we have an outdated half-giant sheep for Merit, because otherwise we wouldn't have this. <laughs> It's good! God, okay. But yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, um... So, Margaret nods and says, Generally, you can tell when you're getting close to the creature, because there's suddenly... You know... Prey animals, just kind of around. The, particularly deer. <laughs> if just you like see, a million deer. If you start seeing herds of deer, you're close. And also... Do not kill them until he is dead. <laughs> or gone. It- It'll make it worse on you. <laughs> Just don't do that. Um... What else? Thinking.
She says, um, other than that, I mean, for the most part, on the outside, until disturbed, it will act like a deer. And again, it does glow like the sun. <laughs> so you can see it, and prominently at night. I would suggest, if you happen to cross it, never be alone, ever. That's sort of just a rule of this plane anyway, just don't, don't buddy system, guys. <laughs> but... If you happen to see it, you know, obviously never approach it alone, even with in groups of twos. Return to your group, call back up, don't be stupid. Other than that, other threats of the forest, you hear voices, anything, just uh, to walk the other way. <laughs> Mary nods. <laughs> just like, yeah, yeah. Just do not go in that direction. Don't even look behind you, just- Birds don't. at a strange sound at night, don't know. I don't know. No one wants a hero. <laughs> you're not a hero if you're dead. Dead or worse. Reverence oh. is still just nodding solemnly. Does everyone feel like they're clear? Any questions? Any concerns? Um... Reverence raises her hand. <laughs> Everyone raises it. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you would have been more positive about this. You've seemed very happy this entire time. <laughs> no, like it's. I'm. V I love everything that's happening right now. <laughs> but also. What? <laughs> Anything in particular <laughs> that you're wanting at? Just kind of all of it, really. How? Okay. <laughs> Take your time. How did you start hunting here? That's complicated. Uh, how does the perimeter work? <laughs> I think Why's Sam would better ask these questions to um sam sam's been here the whole time and sort of nods looks at you and says well um i hold on i actually need to pull up his character sheet really fast that was stupid stupid me <laughs> rookie mistake truly all the rest of us already have our sheets oh you have fifty thousand sheets you should <laughs> If I don't have every single one of the horn hail sheets open at all times, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and we wonder why your computer dies. <laughs> it tries. If we listen close enough, we'd hear it just chugging angrily. I mean, if I got closer, you definitely could. It <laughs> makes a soft <laughs> wheezing. <laughs> oh, boy. Same. Same computer. Um... He said he clears his throat and sort of strains up a little. Says, "Well, I am a cleric of the goddess of forest, Maliki. Um, she and I are well, basically, clerics of the forest queen. Have arrangements and rituals which allow us to enter the Feywild and." Called forth dryads or treants. Birds <laughs> squints. <laughs> <laughs> Merit, um. <laughs> How about you don't? <laughs> for the most part, it's reserved for more dire needs. However, this is a agreement that I have made with my god and of course the horned tail i am a member um where once a year we enter the fey wild to hunt and provide for a village <laughs> a word <laughs> the barrier is part of the contract my goddess creates it it is nearly impenetrable. Is it... Is it visible? Yes. Or, okay. You will find it at the edges of 
the map. He gestures down to the shitty drawn map. <laughs> there is a a physical white barrier. It looks like a white line on the earth, and it shines up a light, and you will not be able to pass over it. Cool. So, is it your god that places the angry deer here for the hunt? Or is that just a coincidence? There have been times when he's not here, and those are unfortunate years. <laughs> it's, it definitely sounds more like a wild thing. Yes. The, the nature of the plane is that it shifts and changes very often. This section is more sturdy. He puts kind of quotation marks around that. <laughs> However, it, I cannot account for every change, and the deer is, to some extent, an animal that has free reign over the entire plane, so there are an occasion where it is simply not there. However, we usually know within the first day. Reverend raises her hand again. <laughs> yes? Does it talk? The deer? Yes. Not that I've ever known. Oh, thank God. <laughs> My man, like, looks at you and says, Do you think we'd be hunting something if it was also, like, talking to us? <laughs> Reverend Shucks. Listen. <laughs> All I know is that, and this, I mean, no offense to Martha White, you're super awesome, very big, very intimidating. <laughs> Animals keep talking to me. Like, this is n this keeps happening, and it's only happened since I got around you people, and I don't really... Sam kind of, like, walks up to you and, like, places a hand on your forehead like he's checking for a fever. <laughs> She's <laughs> not lying. I mean, I do... I understand Martha White is a strange creature, but... Something on the regular? <laughs> I mean, it's not like every, say, week, but it's it has kind of happened before. It, she's it's happened adjusting. a couple times, so, you know, <laughs> I was just wondering. Well, this is not um, any sort of mortal creature, so I suppose that wouldn't really stop it, but it does not speak, regardless. Cool beans. It probably would not have kind of words up. for us anyway. She looks a little bit pained. <laughs> We're its territory, presumably hunting its herd. It's not going to be friendly. No, it is. Do not approach it as, as if it's a friendly. Please. <laughs> Never said I intended to, but. Uh... Hmm. I wonder if I've seen this place before. Anyway. I think mostly fine with this. I don't have any questions personally. No other questions? Margaret looks at you all. Nice. Burns looks like she's thinking really hard. What did you say, Chance? No, it, no, it was just like, no, I think that about clues it up, at least for me. Well, and All right. wait. Well, <laughs> what's the the tree door? How, what? I've never seen that. I, I don't understand it. Margaret looks at Sam. Sam sort of gives a non-committal hand gesture. It's God stuff. God stuff. Yes. God, okay. <laughs> she gets like two thumbs up. I can get that. I understand God stuff. It is God stuff. <laughs> God stuff is like the only thing that makes sense. I would argue that sometimes. <laughs> Reverence kind of gives a non-committal hand gesture. <laughs> oh, you know. I do. <laughs> Claire! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I was> just... <laughs> Bonding. 
<sighs> okay, that's actually it this time. Well, good. <laughs> so, who all wants to be in a group? I'm assuming you lot, the newbies, like being in a group. You hang out a lot. <laughs> that's called friendship. Uh, well, that's why I'm saying you'd like to be in a group, Reverence. Fair <laughs> sort of pulls everyone closer, at least like around him. Reverence is trying and not to snicker. <laughs> just like makes a small group out of everyone. <laughs> We're just like, yep, these 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 are mine, <laughs> my people. <laughs> these ones belong to me. This <laughs> isn't anybody who gets near. We're in my home, I must protect. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, let's yep. see. You'll need someone who is more experienced. Who's th who'll let you not die. <laughs> she sort of like looks to the rest. Mm. Rizan could come with us. That's just what I was thinking. <laughs> Oh, I'm Mary. glad I didn't have to say it. <laughs> Look, thanks for having me back, Pen. <laughs> Pen looks very excited. Brizlon steps forward, nods a little, and then says, Can Thalia come too? And Margrave just. Excited. <laughs> Margrave shrugs and says, Sure. <laughs> Thalia also steps forward. And then she sort of looks at the other ones and says, All right, um... Fulmar, you're with me and Stella. Alyssa, Ran, Josephine, you're together. Sadie, Leo, Alistair, rest of you. All right. Rest of you groups. idiots. The rest of you idiots. <laughs> and then she sort of turns to Marla White and says, Who would you prefer to travel with? Marla White sort of looks over everyone for a moment. Before she like snickers, <laughs> and she so says, beautiful. "Yeah, it's strange and kind of scary to watch. It does not look like a laugh. It looks like a snarl, but it sounds like a laugh. That's terrifying." <laughs> <laughs> it's <far for> the <laughs> Noah is looking at Mar the White with with like a grin on his face, fear and awe. Where it's just like. Yeah, this is par for the course. <laughs> she says, Me and my pack will travel between the groups. We'll keep an eye on everyone. <laughs> and Marguerite nods. Merit's not going to ask this question, but does Mar the White take one of those stones, and how does she carry it? Mouth. There are only four stones, <laughs> and there are four groups of people. Okay. <laughs> so, assumingly, no. Okay. <laughs> Unless just one of these groups can get fucked. I didn't hear that there was, like, more beyond, like, P the PC party featuring Rizla and Dahlia, and then... <laughs> okay. Anyway. Honestly, Margaret can probably just fucking howl. <laughs> and then yeah, also. Shows up. Just a woo. <laughs> Mary could probably try to, but it's not to the same effect. A stutter. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Margaret nods and and uh, turns to all of you again, and says, "Well, all right. Um, who would like to take which corner?" Well, there sort of looks at the shitty map. <laughs> You've described it like that yourself. It's it's like drawn in kind of crayons, but more permanent. God, that's awful. Wait, I'm gonna meet myself a second. Okay. Sure, gliders in the distance. The anger. <laughs> But also, uh, yeah, this white line around the map is the barrier. Okay. And then this this bit is like the a river between these? Yeah, that's the river continuing underneath the trees. Okay. 
I was thinking so, considering how it looked, but... Uh, I'm feeling the northeast, personally. Up here? Yeah. Big lake. Yeah. I was, I was going to mention too. this, but honestly, I just want to see either of these water places. So... <clears throat> Reventh doesn't have an opinion on this, so... Northeast... for us, I suppose. Morgan nods. We will take... the... southeast. And, um... the other two groups take the other half. You don't know their names enough for me to list them off again, so we'll just- nope. I know which ones they are, so... <laughs> Where's Sadie and Alistair going? Sadie and Alistair are going to the spiral. Cool. Cool, cool. I feel bad because we could have invited new NPCs, but we don't- our, our party doesn't want new NPCs. We only trust <laughs> these yeah. other assholes. We only need this yeah. one. No you will fighters. never make more friends. This is- this is just how it is. The only way I can get you guys to make new friends is if I scream at you and call them geo <laughs> <laughs> That's true. true. You're right. We made friends with him very quickly. <laughs> yeah. She he was said shaped Reverend like was a scary. friend. God, he said everyone was scary. It's scary. It was great. Bring him back. No. Well, I mean, he will be back. He'll maybe be back. Probably, unless you he dies. Cannot get like, rid of that boy. No, don't kill him. Shit. <laughs> Please don't. No. Turns out, also, Merit needs him. His fate lies in your hands right now. No, it's just been decided on which corner Let of the map live. he took. Let him live. If you kill Jay, I'll fucking, I'll kill you. I'm gonna come to your house, and murder you, and stop playing Dungeons and Dragons. Damn, I guess. Can I carpool on that? Because I oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> now it's just a road trip to kill Delta. Yes, <laughs> you're damn right it is. <laughs> Benji, get a plane ticket. We'll meet you there. <laughs> Benji, take a real road trip over. Oh shit! God. Oh god. I'll see you guys in a week, I guess. <laughs> Goodness. All right. Yeah. So, so, um, you take a few moments to sort of distribute everything again, pick up your stuff. Margaret gives one of you a stone. Which one do you want it to be? Who wants to hold the stone? Reverence. Uh, uh, are we sure? Sorry. What? Does Ben take it and then hand it to Reverence? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's red. Just please tell me it's so kind of racist, but... <laughs> <What>? <laughs> say that? Yeah, sure, yes, definitely. She just kind of looks at it for a minute. And just says, when you're right, you're right. <laughs> and now Reverend has the stone. Alright, success. <laughs> no, it's fucking... Really hard at reverence. You... Remember, that's for when we're in trouble. I am not a child, Mary. <laughs> Immediately, yeah, I know you're not. But... <laughs> <laughs> I'm aware of this. However, you have, in the past, gone headlong into danger first, and promptly killed over. Listen, this is a scary place. I'm not going to do that this time. No appears under the merit. Hmm? I still don't trust her. <laughs> Reverend flips you off with both hands. <laughs> Mary just... He kind of, no like... Stroller. He dropped the stone? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I mean, it's impressive if she holds it and then flips him off also. She so. does. <laughs> She's impressive. <laughs> It's gotta be really uncomfortable and not like a full bird. No, you can hold a fine. stone with that. It's like... Hold on, I'm going to use something from my desk. It? Like the size of a heart. Oh, 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 oh. shit. <laughs> They're not rock. small. <laughs> okay, no, she like shoves it in a pocket or something and then double birds. 
book reference. It's... <laughs> Never mind. I wish I had more <laughs> hands to flip you off with. <laughs> I'm sure you, can you make do. that happen. What? I don't know how to make that happen. No, you just have clones. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Use your skill right now. Use a spell slot right now. Do you just think I so fucking won't? <laughs> Damn it, I don't have mirror image right now. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I have to use a channel divinity, and if we get into a fight today, that's gonna suck. Yeah, that would suck. That would suck. But like... Too bad, so sad. No, here's the thing. <laughs> Reverence is like petty, petty enough. enough. <laughs> Roll a d2 for the sake of your channel divinity, please. Whether she does or not. I know she's petty enough, but please. <laughs> okay. Sure. Like, like, the decision between practical and not- and petty. Just... <laughs> okay, yeah. I guess she's- is, is that- I guess that's- she's That's petty. a petty. That's yeah. a full petty. <laughs> that's- yes. No, uh, that's yeah, she uses she... invoke duplicity Hold in up, wait. <laughs> What? Before she does that, after she like holds up the birds for a minute, Noah's, <laughs> Noah's like, fuck this. And he flips up both of his birds. Right, yeah, out, birds is just like, bitch. Bitch. <laughs> bitch. And then more clones. And then suddenly there's a second one of her right next to her also flipping you off. It's like doing a squat and like playing. <laughs> you think <laughs> you might be joking, was, but you're not you a joke. That squat? Yes. No, no start, was actually going to start squatting and like he's doing his like birds in like a circular motion up and down. Like you know <laughs> what I mean? Not, that's just the silliest <laughs> thing. It touches the dragon. I can see. <laughs> you can see it, right? I can see it. I can see it with my fucking eyeballs, yes! Its thought has become so real, it's in front of me in my room. It's smiling, but he just face palms. Also, I have two channel divinities, so like, we're fine. Anyway, so yeah, now there's two reverences. This Both of them are flipping you off twice. This is exactly what Noah, it is for. Noah freezes in the squat position. <laughs> and looks at the second reverence. It looks at the actual reverence. It looks between you for a second. What the fuck? <laughs> and like every move reverence's reverence makes is imitated perfectly by the clone, and it's probably very creepy. I just really need to make I need to learn how to teach Lilith to, fl to flip off the birds. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like the bird bear flip he birds. Probably what is the bad thing about it? He probably <laughs> Reverence, do a thumbs I, up. Lilith doesn't have claws. I mean, fingers. She does have claws you very much. Definitely teach yeah, Jabir to flip someone off. <laughs> yeah. Well, right here, right now, in this moment, she doesn't I'm not know saying how. She so can't Reverence do it right now. Reverence looks very smug. Both of them, both references, look <gasps> extremely. They look so. He goes over to Lilith. He gets to the come here, and he, he's like, he's showing the middle fingers to Lilith. He's like, <laughs> do that. Don't flip Reverence off like, Lilith. Like, looks at her paws. Reverence <laughs> just goes, you're flipping off your own bear, and it's double, there's two, and it's layered on top of each other, and it sounds crazy. Because I'm just gonna go, listen, let me do this. I don't know if the clone also talks, but let me do this. I don't think it does. Let me do this, Delta! I mean, you have, you could just burn like a, what is I it, thaumaturgy? <laughs> oh yeah, I burn a thaumaturgy. Thaumaturgy doesn't burn anything, it's a It's a fucking a cantrip. cantrip, that's why. Yeah, she does that to fucking to make it like make both of them speak. Cause she's she's like this. Fucking reference. No one doesn't know that what? she's having to use like a whole separate thing to make the yeah. make it speak. No one doesn't understand any of the shit that you're doing. <laughs> He's just trying God to one up you with question mark. <laughs> it's God stuff. 
God stuff. They were talking about God stuff earlier. I guess that's it. <laughs> but uh, after Noah tries to get Lilith to flip you off, Lilith just kind of looks at her, pause for a sec, and it gives you a thumbs Sad. up. <laughs> down and looks at her boss and then yeah <laughs> reverence is overjoyed the clone only lasts a minute so it probably fades right as she's like beaming and looking so happy this bear just fucking gave her a thumbs up L- 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 he just gives her a hug <laughs> too positive oh. of course even the bear <laughs> knows I won Yes, In any case, won this one. Reverence turns back to like other people who are also here. <laughs> Here's the thing: half of the people are gone. <laughs> Sounds about right. Just sitting here, fucking. In any case, worst case, someone else can take it later. Oh right, we were talking about the stone. Oh yeah. <laughs> I got distracted. I noticed. <laughs> no <it> chuckles. <laughs> Bert's smiling, but he's also giving you this look of like, come on, Bert. Bert sticks her tongue out at you. Bert rolls his eyes. All right, now you're all done being a bunch of fucking babies. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally just Bert and Noah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you so, people expect. So back to the matter at hand. So yeah, um... <laughs> Margaret gave you this stone, and then all of this happened, and she's kind of been, like, sitting here waiting to talk to you. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Has she... Did she look unimpressed, or just snickering? At she's just kind of just, like, laughing a little bit, but also, like, holy shit, this is still happening. <laughs> It only lasted for like a minute and a half. A solid minute is a long time to flip someone off a fucking siren. I, I guess. <laughs> At one point, Mary and Margaret shared a look of just, this is it? Why yeah. are they like this? <laughs> Why are they like this? Oh Margaret God, is amused, we're sending these like, buffoons Jesus. off in the woods alone. Um, she says, anyway, um, to use that stone. <laughs> Torvitz is smiling politely like nothing happened. <laughs> All you have to do is hold it and think of someone else who has the stone. I have one, you know. The others have I don't think you know them, though, so just think of nope. me, I guess. <laughs> uh, we've surely seen them, but... You've that's... seen them, but I could Probably list their names enough. And... I doubt you'd know them. <laughs> you well, could think of them and try if I don't answer. Good luck. <laughs> Give it to Rizlon if nothing else. Yes. Should we try right here so we understand? If you yeah, want. <laughs> Romance turns her back to Margaret, picks up the stone, thinks about Margaret, and says, hey. <laughs> <laughs> No one goes behind reverence and like sprouts his wings out in his arms, like trying to block the sound. <laughs> <laughs> like a shroud over reverence. Oh my God. <laughs> Mobile telephone booth was good. Why are y'all like this? <laughs> Why are y'all like this? Everyone. Except for Reverence, who has her back to Margrave. <laughs> See the stone in Margrave's hand light up and, like, in tune at the same time as Reverence is saying it. It's just, you hear Reverence's voice louder than Reverence to say, hey. <laughs> Reverence turns back around to Noah standing there. She's like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I was trying to block the sound. I'm sorry. No, it's... Okay. He puts everything you're... back down. You scared me. <laughs> <laughs> you're very large and you were standing very close to me. My apologies. Anyway, it works. 
It's fine. I knew it worked before, but I, I mean, you're the one who. Tested, we tested out. <laughs> Look, I'm just. I was just making sure we could work it. That's Not that it didn't work. Keyword, he wants to make sure I can work it. Give me the stone. No, fuck oh. you. You <laughs> That was such what? a genuine. <laughs> Fuck you, Reverend. <laughs> yeah, Reverend doesn't even, he's like, give me the stone, and Reverend doesn't even look at him, like, no, fuck you. <laughs> and here I thought they almost got along. Foolish me. Does, does Mary they say that? Like, yes! No. Riz like, laughs, and he says, I think this is getting along. <laughs> Reverend goes, we're friends! This is friendship. This is obviously friendship. Okay. <laughs> this is how I get along with people. Everyone rolls their eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Margaret sort of nods and turns to the rest of you who are not like friendship bickering. <laughs> So we're not being uh, very the good friends. being assholes. Being the best of friends. And she says, um, well, that's about it. If there's anything else, you can just call to make sure, I don't know, I'm alive or something, if you want. Or if you find something else and you're like, hey, I don't know what to do with this. The answer's probably don't touch it, but, I mean, if you really want me to say it to you, then you can call me up as well. <laughs> Mom voice, no. <laughs> hey, can I go roam the forest? No. Nope. <laughs> hey, can I touch this? No. N no. Hey, can I eat this good-looking fruit? No. <laughs> hey, I heard something. No. No. Hey, I heard a sick-ass violet. No. <laughs> that gnome runs away into the forest all by herself, <laughs> followed by a dwarf. <laughs> Oh, come back. Yeah, that's like, well, shall we go? I guess so, if we're done, you know, Dicking with around. our reverends fucking around. Reverends nods. Does no. not argue that it was the fucking around slash dicking around. Sound like you chuckled the mic for a second. <laughs> what? I heard a rumbling of a mic. I swear to yeah, God, it sounded like someone oh, like. Sorry, had... I think I, I was I was moving my mic around for a sec. My bad. Okay. Because it sounded like someone like taking a microphone and just like fumbling it. <laughs> um, whoops. <laughs> I was messing with the pop filter. <laughs> you, the only one I think with. <laughs> I have a pop filter. I've got a pop filter. I'm Fuck you, fine. KR. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I forgot. No, I forgot. I'm the one with the shitty uh, $20 headset. God, it's okay. Big mood, though. I have a $10 headset. <laughs> but yeah, so. We go. Yeah. Um, Margaret and. Margaret leaves with Stella, Fulmar, and um, Sam. And. Marla White's already gone. All the wolves have, like, dispersed. <laughs> she gives you a wave um, as you start heading off and says, Try not to die! They're gonna die. Oh, you didn't hear that! <laughs> I heard it! No, you didn't! She's already I gone. I did! Just You're right, though! Faith in us. <laughs> Even when she knows I... I need to serve justice around to the wilds. Okay. Reverence goes, just because you, and she gestures also, <laughs> doesn't mean we're gonna survive this. That fucking I'm hand going to do a head count. Everyone box. walk in front of me. And do not get distracted. I'm trying try to stop you from being distracted. And that wasn't a joke. As the party goes on, Merritt stays in back and does a head count. <laughs> making sure. No one goes astray. There she well, is. 
There she is. There she is. She's <laughs> very large. That's her actual size. Holy shit. <laughs> we watch her just like enlarge. And new mom. Suddenly we can just like see Margaret in the distance. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> hey, look, it's my girlfriend. <laughs> and then you assholes. In this direction. <laughs> You're small! How come we don't get to Look, be big? fine, I'll fucking make you big. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're bitching mine about it. <laughs> mine? You heard me. I meant what I said. <laughs> Did you? No regrets. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Nobody's nervous. Nobody's nervous. Okay. So yeah, we go. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll also throw in fucking Rizlon, maybe. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> 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 Our body hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please, God, keep us safe. <laughs> we would not please. survive if they are not with us. Oh, oh Tao! <laughs> Oh my god! Put, no, you need to put him next to Reverence. I right was now. gonna say, put him next to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you. What Tetris shape is that? I that is literally is. a Tetris shape, I'm it pretty is. sure. Yes. Yeah. That's the strongest form of it's Tetris. <laughs> I was gonna say Tetris. I was gonna say like army formation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the Tetris army. The Tetris army. <laughs> Unbreakable. <laughs> Just imagine that, but like war drums playing. Anyway. I mean, it's originally a Russian song, I think. So it'd be perfect. <laughs> God. Anyway. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, hold on. While we're holding, like, Merritt still looks a bit tired, but there's definitely more just life to him <laughs> being here. His hair is still dark, but it's, it's, yeah. He lives! <laughs> This plant boy has been revitalized. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. <laughs> it's a fun time when the DM says it. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Oh, shit. <laughs> so as long as we don't hear that during a battle, we might be fine. Or maybe if we do hear it during a battle, we'll be fine. It depends. So. Uh, you all set off on your way through the woods. It is beautiful and also kind of very strangely unsettling. Everything is <laughs> <Except> just. Merit. <laughs> Merit is just like as happy as can be <laughs> in his zone. Almost frogging. <laughs> no, maybe not actually, but give a. <laughs> um. For the rest of you, the everything is just like the sensation of something being slightly off. <laughs> it's um, uncanny you know, valley, but you don't pink know. Pink trees, you know, pink trees, and um, you hear animals, but you don't ever see like any birds moving in the trees or anything. It's kind of it's not still. There's like there's a breeze. Everything's kind of alive and moving, but there's not. It seems almost surreal and, like, not... I almost said not real. Fake is the word I was looking for. Um, everything moves as if, you know, you're in a forest from the material plane, but it's just all slightly strange. The trees, some of them have this almost translucent quality to their leaves and then there's all these kinds of strange color mosses and sometimes the grass just changes color where you step and at first it sort of like alarms you because you're like oh shit we need to be covering our tracks and then after a moment you see it 
fades very quickly back to the original sort of golden purple shifting holographic feel. So basically, you handed a coloring book to a two-year-old <laughs> and said, go wild. It looks like a child barfed on a mat <laughs> and it was all pepto visual. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> No. The image is perfectly clear in my mind. <laughs> well, everyone, I assume, is keeping tabs of their own tracks. Merritt's also looking out for that. Yeah. Where he's just sort of settled in back being the... <laughs> the not guide, but p protector? Qu question mark? You are um, still on your horses, also. You have those. Um, you didn't just leave them by the tree. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Oh, fuck, it's horse time. I mean, it's been horse time still for the past screaming? week. <laughs> they have calmed down to some extent, but they're still like, Man, this place is weird. <laughs> Just like soft chatter amongst <laughs> themselves of like, dude, have you seen this? Have you seen this before? I know we just like talked about this for like an hour, but like, dude, this grass tastes like cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> How do they know what cotton candy tastes like? They're They've horses. Been fed cotton candy. <laughs> That's not good for the horses. I didn't say it and was. Whoever's doing that needs to stop. No horses were injured in the making of this show. <laughs> Is cotton candy even a thing? And okay, anyway, we it's do not have the time. Sugar. <laughs> yeah, but the thing that like makes it magic How do you exists. Deal with that? Merit is a half tree. <laughs> You did this to me the other day, and I was fucking coming back for you. Mary is a tree man. <laughs> I know what I did. So broken at the end of that. Mary is a tree man. <laughs> I know what I've done. <coughs> I know my disaster child. I know. <laughs> there can be wizards. They can probably be cotton candy. <laughs> candy wizards. Candy wizards! I'll take that. I'll accept I'm that. I'm a fucking candy wizard. No, you're not. You're fucking reverence. <laughs> no, like me, real person. You can't make candy, bitch. I've made candy before. Suck that's a dick. Not, that's not a candy wizard. That's like a candy apprentice. You can't take this away from me. I can't. I, I just invented it. Be. Anyway. <laughs> Horse cheddar aside. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh god. <laughs> Suddenly yeah. sports. Fucking call out post. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. Siren just watching hey, YouTube videos. Hey, it's D&D &D time. <laughs> no, I'm Hey! Thinking. Siren, it's D&D &D time. Put you that shit away. Can't fucking focus on one thing at a time. I'm playing a dumb simple game on my phone and there was an ad <laughs> turn the media down i did i didn't know it was up let me live my life <laughs> i'm sorry anyway presumably we don't die Jesus. no you you don't die you you travel for <laughs> I, you I thought say you were no. going to say no you did you die, die. <laughs> you, you die <laughs> fucking wish <laughs> No, you you die. <laughs> it's it's gone. It didn't take long. You all fell into a pit and died. No, um, you travel for the most of the day. It's a slow travel, considering you are all on like high alert to look around for your surroundings. Um, you don't see any sort of sign of deer for the most part yet. Um, but the earth is also like as you're walking the it's like the forest itself can't decide what biome it's in like f between this large white tree and the lake which you do reach and i will get to in a second um you go through like five different kinds of forests like at some point it's you know could normal fucking deciduous couldn't think of that word <laughs> um and then Slowly, it turned into like pines, pit, pines. You turn into pines. Forest, trees, yeah. pin recognizes. Like what the fuck. It turns into pines for a while, and you this this clear space, and then it, 
it becomes this like swampy tree f forest where um the ground is like this thick muck and it's not deep you can still walk through it without much problem but it's not great <laughs> and um then a rainforest and then it just keeps like there's springs of trees in patches of just these weird biomes it doesn't make any sense um, is pin having a crisis <laughs> Pen is having no fun at all right now. <laughs> no pen. <laughs> They're still on a horse. They're in this weird ass foresty plane that doesn't make fun sense. Level is zero. Save them. <laughs> they haven't smiled in like three hours. Oh god. <laughs> oh, no! Pen is gonna die. <laughs> Like a leech, you stole it. Fucking stolen. <laughs> oh no. I need to report a crime. <laughs> <laughs> Mary will report himself for that crap. God. Um, eventually you make it to um, the waterfront where the trees sort of thin out and like a couple of them actually turn like tropical. Like there's palm trees and it's bizarre. <laughs> But Lisa here. Frank style palm yeah. trees. <laughs> They're pink. All of the trees are this strange purple, pink, gold colors, but all different types of trees. Um, you reach this lakeside, and the trees sort of pull away from it a bit. And it's the water is like crystal clear and perfect. <laughs> and um, you can see the bottom. It's mostly like rocks and a few plants are growing it that are also the same strange colors and there are a few fish um which is kind of surprising considering the lack of like small wildlife you've seen so far but the fish seem for the most part fine <laughs> um and on the far side of the lake you can see this bright white wall of light and immediately you recognize it as the barrier. Nice. <laughs> um, at this point also, you have been traveling for about six, maybe nearing seven hours, and the sun has not changed. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yep. Oh. I just thought of something I should have asked. That's fine! That's fine! Probably. God, it, the God stuff will handle that. Anyway. <laughs> I'm yeah, <don't> sure. <laughs> don't worry about <laughs> it. It's a lovely God sentence. Stuff, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the God stuff will handle that. God's got my back on this one. <laughs> Probably? Reverend's <laughs> voice. Said... <laughs> yeah. Reverend's voice in literally anything she does. God's got me. <laughs> Jesus loves me. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So, yeah. We yeah. lived. You get here, and it's... It's a strange feeling of noticing, like, the sun is still where it was when you got here. Like, you're tired and you're pretty sure a large amount of time has passed but also like there's this lack of an automatic oh it's night i should sleep there's just like oh it's still daytime it's like in the summer when the sun stays up too late and now it's nine o'clock and you're still like doing things that you should have been doing at five <laughs> mm -hmm. Eternal day, eternal sunset. <laughs> Welcome to the Feywild. But yeah, Merit's... I, there's nothing I can add, because Merit's just like, yeah. I am home. <laughs> um, so is the sun supposed to still be up like that? Pretty much, yeah. It, it Sometimes you can go somewhere else and it becomes nighttime, but... It does what? what it wants. Yeah, it's... I know. 
Okay. Well, I guess it's time to set up the camp. Need to rest all the same, yes. All right. Yeah. Um. So everyone sort of gets off their horses, you know, relaxes a little bit, as much as you can in this like freak show of his forest. <laughs> Merit just lays out in the grass. No. <laughs> I mean, he might, but not just, like, immediately. Yeah. Um, fish are just hanging out. Are the... Hmm? Are the fish super weird, too? I can't remember. <laughs> Who said? Uh, the fish aren't... Well, they're, the like, the first animals you've seen, so, like, mm -hmm. they're not dead. It's the first point I made. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just mean, are they technicolor? <laughs> yeah, they are. They're weird colors. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. That's- I just- I need to repaint that in my mind. What do these fish look like? Good. They're- okay. they're rainbow fish. <laughs> but yeah, Bert's just like... Yeah. The rainbow <laughs> trout! Yeah. <laughs> okay. But... Yeah, it's been a while. We settle. So on and so forth. Yeah. Um... Merit, um, looks... Perception checks around as the camp is made, though. Just for things that are would be weird to him or noticeable to, to him. Yeah. Hear me. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I must roll this fives the party part two. <laughs> uh, perception. Uh, public, yes. No advantage, I assume, even though this is home. I'll give you advantage. Thank you. I've been blessed on this day. <laughs> Good thing too. Tiniest. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd say this is definitely like Merritt's fucking territory. You can have advantage on this. <laughs> if I ever multi-class him into a ranger, that's it. That's going to be his. <laughs> that's <laughs> his strength. Fucking... Proficient terrain, the entirety of the Feywild. <laughs> Just forget about natural forests, forget about anywhere else. Feywild. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so. Everything seems f fine. Yeah, you take a, um, take a thorough look around. And, like, you, everyone's setting up, you kind of just put your stuff down and take the time to look around the, the lake a little bit. Um, it's it is different from where you're used to like the forest changing so very like suddenly in the biomes is definitely different you where you're from the forest is kind of in control <laughs> it's it, more influenced by uh his mom i almost said her name i'm not going to <laughs> yeah. it's more influenced by that kind of yeah. Yeah. so he's more used to that yeah and so there's... traveling through all of this has been a little like oh Okay. I'm just like, ah, yes, I guess it does do that. I've heard about this a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, you don't spy any, like, there's, for the most part, you seem to be alone as far as, like, fade directly that would injure you or anything sort of that. There's you... no one peeking behind trees. Yeah, there's no one, like, spying directly no on giggling, you. There's no giggling, so on. There's a few sort of like fireflies within the forest that you kind of like give uh, a look at, like, hey, what's what's your deal? But they the fairy lights. Yeah. <laughs> but for the most part, you seem to be as alone in a non-threatening place as you can be, boss, right now. <laughs> as we can be in the wilds. Okay. Yeah. Aside from the fish who are now our witnesses, but yeah, the fish who are witnessing you quite clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of the Skyrim thing where you crouch and it's like you are so you fucking detected, <laughs> and, and it's just a horse. But you know, but yeah. So okay. The fishies are going to tell on us. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking believe it. I do too. It's why I said. God. Basically, the Fate Wild is all of nature probably going to conspire against you. Yeah. Featuring <laughs> nature people. <laughs> kind of. 
Yeah, okay. Uh, satisfied that we're at least safe, quotation marks. Mm -hmm. um, Merit helps a little bit with the camp, not a whole lot, but whatever's left to do. Yeah. And setting up his stuff and so on. He actually takes off his hat at one point and just leaves it. Yeah. Um, Rizlon and Thalia set up, like, a pit for a fire, but they don't light it, because it is... It's not cold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, at all. It's, in fact, kind of... It's warm, to, and without any night, there's not super a need. But they still did it, and they're just kind of like, All right, guys. <laughs> Only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> Reverence is so happy it's not fucking cold. It's gonna suck for Team Virtue so bad. Going yeah, when back. we go back, they're gonna be like, oh. It's cold It's gonna again. be the worst day of Merit's life. <laughs> Maybe would it be over by the time they get back, because the Feywilds all fuck you like that. That's what I realized I should have asked. Hey, does, does time fuck up that badly? <laughs> I would assume not if we're going back in time to feed the people for winter, but like... <laughs> um... <laughs> it's too late now. I mean, you do have Reslon and Thalia who are seasoned at this. <laughs> <laughs> um... Now here's the thing, I didn't adjust oh my a God. campfire so... <laughs> <laughs> Delta. 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 This is better. I love you so much. <laughs> so good. This is excellent. This is so this fucking is good. Rad. This is the raddest of the campfires. I I don't know if I'm happy or insulted. <laughs> both. A little bit of both. It's both. But yeah, um, you all sort of relax for the night. N big quotations night. Big quotations relax. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you are left here and it is, again, it's not quiet. And there is almost like, it almost sounds like there's, you know, insects chirping somewhere or birds but it's kind of difficult to place <laughs> they're invisible <laughs> <laughs> they're just it's fucking no, invisible here's the thing does Merritt hear those as just the animal noises or do they translate um I'm sorry <laughs> this is a good question the insects I'm gonna say probably no you don't understand yeah. them yeah, probably, probably not the birds no are singing. No cricket speak for you. Like, singing a song. <laughs> okay. It's... They're, they're whistling a song. <laughs> God. Okay, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> no. Hey. Oh, mm. oh, wait, no. You go. Just... This is this might happen over time. Does Merit recognize any of the uh, plants around as the ones he uses in the Fey tea? <laughs> he's, he's going to be casually looking because he only has the one left. Is that what that is? Yeah. Holy shit! It's it's herbs from the Fey wild. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Oh god, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. And I've been ca if you've seen me like typing every once in a while, that was me like trying to type the message casually. I was like, no, I'll just ask it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, you spot a couple. Some of them are not uncommon. Like, um, there's these certain ferns that have spirals to them, and like you spot them, and you're like, oh, I should I should pick some of that up. <laughs> just like, yeah, snatch. <laughs> you have bits and pieces. But, like, there's definitely pieces that are more rare or difficult to find. Like, you have to actually go out and look for them that you haven't just seen while walking through yet. Yeah, that's fine. As I said, like, over time, he's probably going to do that as they just search and hunt through also. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, that'll be later. Okay. <laughs> Jot that down. A few fey derbs. <laughs> 
say ferns? Should I put ferns? Question mark? Put <laughs> herbs. <laughs> herbs. And Chansey had a thing. Her uh, uh, wait, what? Nope. <laughs> Delta, sorry. Um, so, I'm so excited to use this. Uh, Noah's actually, like, ever since y'all walked in here, he's, like, stayed in his, like, dragon form. Ah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know. He's here! What? what? Holy shit. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I like, I like how oh you just slid in Hold on, let me fucking. <laughs> 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 uh, oh my god, I'm a dragon boy. Oh my god, he's here. Delta, I just gotta say again, I love you. <laughs> Oh! Yeah, <laughs> Brash is just like, holy shit! I mean, we've seen this before still, no, but... Seen it. Yeah, this we is just... what he normally looks I like. Haven't. I mean, Nor did a little bit, but you're still getting used to it. He saw it just over this trip, so it's still weird. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, that's been here for like three Four it's weeks. been a <laughs> long time I've had that, but I was like looking for the perfect opportunity, but it never really came up. Yeah, it's fine. Fucking bust it out. Good. It's good. It's really good. Blue ass <laughs> nose. Love it. The smallest kaiju. God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I love it. It's a little bit of. <laughs> Merit's a plant who likes the scaly. Tens of furry. Look. Why have we got so many fucking. <laughs> The, the little, the little bit of blue. I mean, Kaylin is Kaylin is in a relationship with a dragonborn, so um... low key scaly. <laughs> God, that's still pretty awesome. scaly. I mean, yeah, yeah. That's kind of the highest key of scaly you can get. <laughs> <laughs> I could say words, but I'm not. <laughs> I will save you from that. <laughs> the music that's playing also is. I need God, to chill. Kaylin, need Kaylin, to fucking... <laughs> Kaylin is not peachy. I like how Red Rain is just inches. Over Shut the fuck <laughs> up! <laughs> Nobody saw anything. <laughs> Jesus. Bye. He just died. The song that's currently playing sounds familiar, but I don't know if I recognize it from a game or if I recognize it because it's played before. And it's uh, probably from the frame before. It's from Dark Souls. Okay, there we go. Dark Souls. Dick good. Oh, it's. Yeah, so <laughs> campfire. Yes. Pen is Pen's like the fucking bonfire, my dude. Where the fuck did Pen? Not far. Don't worry. <laughs> Pen leaves. Pen, buddy. Oh, Pen does the okay. one I mean, thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with that sixteen perception, again, Merritt's still head counting. Pen's not it's running bad. off. Don't worry. We're safe for now. I'm just um, Pen is not relaxing and is not going very far, but is walking around the area, looking at all the flowers and stuff intently. Mm -hmm. Don't just, touch like, it. Just like getting up real close with their face. There is a lot of new flowers, and some of them are just kind of reskinned flowers <laughs> from the mortal plane. <laughs> mm, new textures. <laughs> Yeah, but, wow, it's a new texture pack. <laughs> That's what I've been imagining. I love that new texture. DLC. 
<laughs> DLC. <laughs> um, as Pin's been like, you know, frowning and then going around looking intently, Merit sort of gingerly like follows them along as they're looking, and it's like, you are right. Everything's the wrong color, and that's just weird. <laughs> Pointing at a random plant. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be too mean, they do have feelings. What nods do you merit? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I'm getting vivid uh, flashbacks to Critical Role in, in the Feywild. They fended the grass. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Why does the grass change color when we walk on it? It just does. Feywild sort of works on its own sort of mind and desires, and every living thing in here does. All the plant life included. Or at least that's, that's always how I've known it to be. It's always just been more vivid than the plane. And as he says that, Merit's just looking around. I expect Ben. Pen just furrows their brow and says nothing. Just be like that, Pen. Just do be careful. Pen continues sticking their face in flowers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as long as it's not. As far as you can tell, Merit, the flowers don't seem to mind. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not a matter of. It's more just like. You know, doing major damage or some in some form or fashion. Try not to inhale too hard. <laughs> yeah, also that. Don't just take a bite out of it. God, please. please. Do not eat the flowers. Don't eat the buttercups. There's maybe ones I can point to to tell you to eat, but otherwise, do not. <clears throat> and honestly, it's a safer call to just trust Margaret's advice and don't touch anything. <laughs> Yeah, as Pin's just sort of focused, where it just nods, goes on, sits by the fire. And he still, again, keeps tabs where Pin's going. Mm. Not like constantly, but just like, they still there? They're over there now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just looking for the yellow. Oh god, where Pen got? Oh no, they're over there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Cause I, I mean, like I've said, if we ever planned on going to the Feywild, Mare would be serious about this, but this was not planned. <laughs> There's no time to rein in. <laughs> Except for Margaret reining it in. And so, it's still a matter of fact that Merritt's cautious about his friends. <laughs> but yeah. Other than that, just, just sit. Chill. <laughs> Yeah, um, Dahlia and Rizlon have taken sort of a relaxed position. They are still, like, Dahlia, you can see, is still, like, keeping an eye out. But she also, like, gives you a nod as she sees you, like, eagle-eyeing Pen. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> they're, they're at my six o'clock, aren't they? All right. <laughs> Pen's right behind me, right? Good. <laughs> Just Literally, like a silent I'm... conversation with the eyes. <laughs> yeah. I almost said 12 o'clock too, but I'm like, no, that's Thalia looking at Merit. That's incorrect. You're at 12. <laughs> and Nora is just... How, how... Looking over at Nora, how's he doing? I know you said he's astral projecting, but... <laughs> the man's gone. <laughs> Disassociation hits hard. Yeah. Like, the moment you walk in that portal, it's just like, ah, cool. <laughs> okay. It's, this is fine, except he's just on fire. This is fine, yeah. but it's the third panel where the dog's melted. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one. 
My man's gone. He hasn't said anything. <laughs> yeah. I miss him. Leans over, and you know that thing where someone waves a hand in front of your face? Nope. Merrick does that. Gone. <laughs> He's Nor? And gone. Jilly touches Nor, <laughs> just like sort of shakes him. I just yeah, right. realized, like, mm -hmm. did we bring firewood with us, or would we have had to get wood, like, from, like, the wilds? Um, you have some supplies, so you have some firewood. This is kind of, what they've gathered is scraped together from the wilds, so though. It's not a large fire at all, and, um... Would the fire be, a, like, a weird color, too, if it was from the wilds, or... Just no fire. It is blue in the center. I know. Sick. It's cool. Sorry, it was just a random stray That's thought. That's fine. <laughs> Reverence probably complained about her butt hurting because horses, and then like flopped down on her stomach. She's she knows. Everybody else is looking all around. She's like, I don't have to. <laughs> God, what a bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if the... my friends got me, and if they don't got me, God has me. <laughs> God, God has me, I guess. This is not a joke. <laughs> my friends got me, and if they fail me, then Jesus. <laughs> Jesus himself will have my hand. As Jesus I descend take into hell. the wheel. <laughs> and I see that vine where he just goes in. Yeah. <laughs> he grabs it from outside the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One. That's it. <coughs> it oh. <may> you reverence. <laughs> but yeah, as, as Nora doesn't respond, it just so goes. I, I think we've already lost one. Pokes Nora again. <laughs> he just turns and just like does not say anything. He's just like Brizon gets up and walks over to Nora <laughs> and sort of like pokes him a little bit before he pulls out something from his pocket and just holds it under Nora's nose and it's smelling no. salts. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, don't fuck up, bitch. <laughs> he lays down. <laughs> oh, oh god, I've, I've killed him. <laughs> Rizlan, why'd you do that? Norse dead. Time to make a new character. <laughs> the point was to not die. <laughs> it's just smelling salts. <laughs> I guess he's allergic or something. I can't believe you killed our new friend. He just like gives you a look. He <laughs> does it. He's wearing a mask. It's a mask. The, you, you sense it. <laughs> it's the same emotion the emoji gives you. Reverence knows the one. Yeah. <laughs> She's been on the receiving end of it many times. Sort of prods Nora with his foot a little bit. <laughs> Nora's like, yeah? You good, buddy. <laughs> yeah? You wanna talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be mostly fine. It's pink. It's like it no. It sure is, buddy. No. <laughs> Fuck, it sure is, man. Rich <laughs> <laughs> just sort of looks around and just shrugs. Oh, I hadn't noticed. <laughs> Rizlon yeah. sits down and, like, pats you on the back. <laughs> it's sort of like fall, except it's just pink instead of orange. I don't... Oh, man. Okay, that's not that is. It's so, not like, like not that. Like fall. <laughs> yeah, reverence. So nothing like fall. Merit, do you know what fall is? <laughs> we fall. were just in it. 
Merritt, I worry yes. about you sometimes. It's very... it's not... what? <laughs> <sighs> On the world plane, when the leaves turn color, but only just begin to fall. Mm -hmm. That's very bright colors. It's a bit like that, except it's just pink instead of orange. And it'll never fall. I guess. Basically, what? it's exactly like fall, except for everything's pink and it never changes. The sun. It's exactly it's like fall. fall, except it's not fall at all. That's not fall. The sun is still up. And it doesn't look like it's going down. It, It's not going to. Oh. No. Cool. Uh, it's fine, just wrap, wrap a shirt around your face, and you won't even notice. Just throw the, throw the winter blanket over your head and you're fine. Take a nap, Nora. Take a nap. <laughs> God. But, because, uh, although time, that does remind me. The time between here in the wilds and the mortal plane seems to shift rather dramatically. How how do we not know we're not just going to miss the rest of winter? Well, the portal we travel through is a bit more stable than the general astral shifting spell. However, there is not a guarantee. It usually, it's never been over a year. It's <laughs> usually a few weeks to a few days to minutes. <laughs> it does sound about right. Remember, just goes, this place is so fun! <sighs> I am quite fond of it. <laughs> It has its charms. I see All of them are dead there. <laughs> Indeed. I meant this completely seriously. This is so much fun. This is so fun. Welcome to more or less but not quite my home. When do I get to meet your mother? Well, not right now. There's sort of a, a barrier. Unless your mother Shit. lives in here, I doubt we're going to see her, unfortunately. Well, fuck. Yeah, no, this is... I would have recognized if it was my mother's forest and it is... Sorry. What's your mother's forest like? More consistent is what I would start with. Uh... The way we went across pines and... Well, palm trees and so on. That doesn't quite happen there. Um, probably because of her influence, but mm, some of the place is a bit more would be a bit more familiar to you, considering the plane is so thin between my mother's forest and, well, the mortal realm, but this, this is close. Still has the same magic, the same life. Is it pink? Sometimes. So, so some places your... are not quite, but yeah. Hmm? Is your mom, like, in charge of the forest? Pretty much. That's terrifying. I know. I love it. I may not be so familiar with the and social structure of fey creatures. However, what exactly does that make her? Out of curiosity. <sighs> A Grand Dryad, mostly. That's, that's her entire title of sorts. She has recognition within the courts, 
however small it may be, since she can't move along the planes the rest, as the rest of Faye can, being bound to a tree and all. But, yeah, she's still respected in some shape or form, depending on who you talk to. So, if I get your beans. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not a prince. Mm -hmm. No, we we have a queen, and she has a per she has a son who is a prince. No, disappointing. Mm -hmm. Still cool. Prince would be cooler. I would still have a little bit of weight. It just depends on who we talk to. Particularly well. since I'm not. And <laughs> Mirror sort of gestures to himself and goes, uh, "Full blooded." There's. There's controversial opinions of those who are only half human, only half fey and half human and so on. Yeah, so how does that work? I was just about to ask, since your mother is bound to a tree, does that mean you have like a tree in you? Or are you also bound to a tree? <laughs> are you just a tree, Merit? Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> goes, okay. One thing at a time. <laughs> were you born or were you like a seed? Stops <laughs> 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 this. There's like a brief bit of like unsurety. Pretty sure I was born. I am not bound to a tree. I do not have a tree just here. <laughs> she like motions to himself again in confusion. And I'm not really a tree. I, I, reference, I feel like we had this discussion before. Maybe. <laughs> Are Just your bones recently. made of wood? It's an incredibly interesting topic, Merit. It depends on how you want to define made, I guess, considering my mother. I, th I think they're just bone. But <laughs> just bones. <laughs> but like, if Do your mom's a bones? tree, how? I'm gonna order this shit boneless. Murder <laughs> <laughs> just a boneless tree. Oh my god, Mary's a boneless dryad. <laughs> no. Boneless chicken wing. Get that shit boneless. <laughs> Why this? God, what even was the question? There was something I was going to respond to, I've just forgotten. <laughs> the reverence went, but if your mom's a tree, then how? Fey magic? The same way everything is just a little not quite what you're used to. Purple and gold and so on. So Mary, how were you born? That is what she is asking. Just, I, I don't fucking know. I wasn't there. Actually, I was there, but fuck off. <laughs> That's Merritt. <laughs> That's why he was like unsure, because he's like, well, I don't remember, and I've. Memories I, I don't go I that far care back. To... <laughs> <laughs> I love how we always. It's almost like every session we have this realization just looking at Merritt. I start remembering things so around the age of three. If you don't know the answers yourself, I think you have some questions to ask your parents. Yes, please what about talk you? to your mom and report back. Yes. I mean... Oh, look he was an yourself, egg. Darling. Huh? Look at yourself, Gosh. darling. Reverence, like, turns to Noah and looks intently. She wants to know. Why are you I'm with him. What's me? your deal? <laughs> Well, what do you want to know? Given there are some things that I guess I don't know myself, but I am not in the position to ask my parents. <laughs> exactly. I don't want to ask my parents if they had sex. Please don't make me. <laughs> <laughs> Reverence will fucking ask for you. Just point her in the right direction. Falling, there was a direction. Well, damn. 
<laughs> yeah. Merritt's trying to find the direction. <laughs> <We're going around. laughs> Merritt's been holding a compass this entire time. <laughs> Like, it's in just the spin wild, <laughs> for some reason, I feel like a compass would just be spinning round and round and round and round. Oh, it would. It's reason. just spinning. Especially here in the wilds. So anyway. Do you know in Minecraft, when you go into... You know, I like can't the believe the Feywild is just yeah. Minecraft. Yeah. Does he... Or the, the end, I think. It also does it. Yeah. 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 Why is Minecraft, Minecraft at least three times today? What's in big mood Minecraft. right now, Minecraft? Let's just play Minecraft. Minecraft's in my blood. <laughs> what if we just True. play D and D with Minecraft? God, oh my god, god. <laughs> that would take so, so much make... effort. Yeah. Oh god, so, so basically, no. y'all could cast it. Are you kidding me? That's disgusting. And also, we wouldn't have <laughs> no, like, how would you people. play all the NPCs? Uh, just yeah, fucking so make yes. them. I have four computers. Uh, Here we go. <laughs> Have multiple tabs of Minecraft open. Like, <laughs> oh no, God. desperate times. <laughs> no joke. I think I can still remember how to make Minecraft skins, and I would make merit. I, I wouldn't know how, how to make, make the hat, but skins, and I can still make all kinds of like redstone contraptions and shit. God, <laughs> huge mood. That's my. This is my blood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't have blood, it's just redstone. It's just I redstone. Just... God, I hate this. Can we play Dungeons and Dragons and not <laughs> Minecraft? <laughs> so, what is it you want to know about me? I mean, you're half dragon. Yes. How? <laughs> <laughs> My mother was a dragon, and my father was a human. And if you're wondering, my mother was a silver dragon, to be exact. I was not, actually. I can see you. So, <laughs> I can look at no. you with Reverend, my eyes. Reverend laughs. <laughs> or snorts. Well, it kind of chuckles. But... Thank you for telling. He nods. Anything else? Or was that it? I'll think of more questions. I'm sure you will. Reverend nods. He will. <laughs> Waiting for Pin to go. He's an egg! He's an egg boy! He was hatched in an egg. Frozen sort of waves a hand. They'll come up when they do. Well, <laughs> I'll, them, please. I'll try to be ready to answer them when they come up. That's very gracious. Stay on your toes. Ruslan, please ask the end question. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we chill except for Pin, who is just so frustrated. <laughs> Yeah, um, after a couple of hours, you're all beginning to feel, like, fatigue and tired, and you're like, hmm, we should probably go to bed. <laughs> um, reverence, the stone in your pocket lights up, and you hear Margrave speaking through it, and, um, she says... Well, we've found evidence of deer. There's shredding against trees suggesting they've shed antlers at some point and several hoof prints and scat. So it looks to be we're in the right place at the right time. Rorish just kind of looks at the rock and then looks at somebody and is like, what do I say? Cool beans. Do you say that? <laughs> she just says, cool. <laughs> Margaret does not respond. So does that mean we have to do anything or just stay on the lookout? As you it means... Rorish relays this. No one wants to know if that means we're supposed to do something. <sighs> Margaret just sighs. 
Reverence. <laughs> you asked. You're right. I did ask, but that's kind of an <laughs> asshole way to put it. The stone lineup lights up again. Says, "It means that the deer is here. here. Just look out for now, until one of us spots it." It means all the travel was not for waste. Don't say that into the stone. Reverend, he like points like a grin reverend. and holds up the stone. Mayor grabs it for her. No, he doesn't. He's across the thing. Don't you know? Is Mayor gonna catch him? Leave so. No, acrobats of. No, nah, Reverend is playing keep away, and she's talking to the stone. Merit says. Thank goodness the travel wasn't wasted. <laughs> and hopefully it like sounds like something's going on through it my does. side. You're like like <laughs> leaned over the floor and the stone isn't like in next to your mouth, so you're kind of far away. <laughs> just stops, he's just like He's standing, is the thing where he was. He stands back up. No, Reverend's like kind of fucking rolling like away. Over Merit's like from behind Merit, because I imagine he's a little behind him. He's like, Reverend, you're an asshole. I know this. <laughs> no, Margaret... but I mean, like, you're a prime example. No, but like, I know this. <laughs> the, uh... She's grinning. The stone lights up again, and you hear Margaret say, Yeah, no shit! <laughs> <laughs> Reverend <laughs>, laughs. Like, she looks so pleased. I just sighs. Anyway, uh, sleep tight, kids. Don't die. I trust you're in good hands. Don't wake Reverend me up from my nap. <laughs> Reverend <Reverend> looks <laughs> over the camp again. Merit's gonna kill me. Have a nice nap. Merit saves some for me, and the stone just goes dark. <laughs> Merit just sort of holds his arms out and goes, Well, this is the prime place for me to do it, Feywile and all. And sort of casually like jazz hands. Reverend just kind of looks at him and says, Well, what are you waiting for? The element of surprise. She nods solemnly. <laughs> <laughs> she fucking rolls back over. <laughs> just... She has not stood up to move, by the way. She is rolling around on the floor. Which is impressive because covered, covered in sand. Your feathers are just the worst. <laughs> it's fine. Mary just A boa here. on the beach. <laughs> Mary just sits down here. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, Rizalon sort of sits up, and I imagine you all, um, eat rations. Mm -hmm. Like, you have- you have brought food enough to stay in here for, yeah. like, at least a week. <laughs> yeah, we all- I think most of us have the, like, explorer's pack or something, yeah. which is so much food. <laughs> yeah, Robert has never touched her rations, I'm pretty sure, so. No, yeah, I don't think any of us have, because, like, mm -hmm. there's been enough... Between Pin and Merritt, they could scavenge, but they can't scavenge this time. It's not a good idea. Merritt could try, but it's not going to go well either. <laughs> I mean, hell, I'm pretty sure with all... We all have survival. We could all fucking scavenge. <laughs> well... I say merit. I will tell merit you for knows... free. If you try and scavenge here, it will no, be more here. than a survival. <laughs> not yeah. here, just in general. Yeah, I mean, that's... meaning you know, yeah. It's just like uh, I know, or I think, uh, Pin and Merit have the same thing where it's like can find f food and fresh water for myself and up to five other people each day. Yeah, Powerful. assuming the yeah. So we we got, usually have it covered. Strong, but in the Feywild, Merit might might could be like this might be safe, but it's better. Or it might give you have... diarrhea. Have we fun. could probably <laughs> eat this. But he's also like, 
It's safer just to have rations. Don't take a chance on me. The thing, eat a thing here and it will, you will not be able to leave. So let's just not. <laughs> Even if I think it's okay, it's not. <laughs> I'm wrong. Don't ever trust me. <laughs> I think I know what I'm doing. Don't trust that. <laughs> what did Merit eat for like his entire life then? The sun? He's a tree. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not entirely that. So, Tosin is a I mean, <laughs> here's the thing Merit. I mean, he sort of said this to the party, but like, straight up, Merit lived on. The, the, the Rosewoods are like such a thin border between Mortal Plane and Fey Wilds, where he could, he could have just gone over and then eaten food and come back or some other such things. I don't Plus, like to I'm describe sure. it as the plane's thin. I like to describe it as it's so heavy in the Fey Wilds that true. it's leaked over. <laughs> That's same difference. Same difference. It depends on where you're at looking at it. Yeah. On top of that, I'm not sure how much uh, that actually affects him in terms of, like, if it's someone's claimed food and he eats it, then he has a problem. But it may not affect him if it's just Fey Wild when he's kind of Fey. It's a very thin line that I haven't discussed enough quite yet. The oh, <laughs> thank you, Eric. Right. I'm sorry, Tree Vago? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just noticed that. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to unnotice that. <laughs> <laughs> we can't talk about this. <laughs> oh. But yeah, basically yeah. rations and we settle in-ish further. Yeah. Um, Dahlia speaks up and says, who wants to take watches? Mary looks at Reverend. Reverence, and then over to his hey. Reverence is asleep. <laughs> A pen will take first. They're not ready to fall asleep yet. <laughs> Noah raises his hands and like yawns. He's like, "Oh, I'll take watch, but I'd like to sleep a little bit first. It's like second, third. Mm, I'll when... I'll take th third shift. And I'll I think I'll just wake you. Yeah, sounds good. He knocks back Mer on the earth. <laughs> Mer no, just reverence. No, see, Reverence is asleep because Rosam was like, we need to have a talk. <laughs> and I'm trying to facilitate this occurrence. By sleeping? Yes. He needs to talk with Merit. Merit, um, Rizlon, not Merit, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what does happen to me? Fuck me up, Delta. Yeah, it's a anyway. pilot. <laughs> the Earth consumes me. <laughs> <laughs> the Void claims another. <laughs> um, Rizlon says, "I will take second. Dahlia just kind of nods and says, "I'll take first. With pen. <laughs> Catatonic. Nor's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Nor's simultaneously in all of them and also <laughs> now. <laughs> no, he'll take third. Reverend's is asleep, so whatever happens, happens. All right. Nor's all the shift at the same time. <laughs> I mean, Nor can sleep. We we can let him rest. Here's the thing. Can, nor can rest. Please. Just, it's can okay. he? Yes. <laughs> can he find solace? <laughs> I mean, he can try. Solace the bald egg? 
Fucking no! No one wants to find him. No one wants to find that one. I want I'll to find him so you can kill him. Out of him. <laughs> I'll make one hell of an omelet. <sighs> but yeah, okay. So that's just c covered? Question mark. Yeah. Rizlan the second, and then wild card. <laughs> Can I put on a good night's rest? What's that one? Yes. That's the sleeping mass that can that I can do oh. perception rolls while unconscious. Okay, cool. I it forgot that. Takes that psychic was... damage of. I, how do I tell if I'm in the natural sleep cycle or not? If you are unconscious, <laughs> <laughs> you're asleep. <laughs> you're in a sleep cycle. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you fall in battle and you're ready, you are ready. <laughs> <laughs> I just mean uh, that is like if you it's like you're in a dream where you roll a perception check and you're like oh shit something's happening in the real world I need to wake up and then you're like oh fuck I got a headache yeah pretty much so yeah he's going to try to strap that on his dragon face it barely fits <laughs> All right, so everyone sort of takes a nap, <laughs> except for Thalia and Pen, who are left at the fire. Thalia um, takes up where Merritt left off of keeping an eagle eye on Pen. <laughs> <laughs> Has Pen settled down at all? Yeah, a bit. <laughs> yeah, they're. They're making a more serious job of, you know, watching out rather than staring at plants, so. Yeah. Thalia, um, looks kind of withdrawn for a few moments before eventually looking up and speaking to you, and she says, um, how do you like it here? It's strange. Not used Not to it yet. <laughs> I'm similar. <laughs> and I've been here before. <laughs> it's weird how similar a lot of the things are. It's unsettling. Pen nods. When I Go. first came here, <laughs> I was pretty young and I was really worried that there was going to be another version of me here. <laughs> she bends like, eyes widen. <laughs> As far as I know, there's not. As far as she knows. But she can never be sure. <laughs> I mean, I've dealt with another version of me before, so... Ben shrugs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mirrors. Yep. No, it's iconic. Fun. Fuck you, mate! <laughs> 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 Which was the summary of the battle. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Fuck you, me. Anyway. Go ahead. Dahlia sort of, like, makes a face, but nods a little. <laughs> like, she doesn't actually understand, but she still agrees. <laughs> Pen does not explain any further. <laughs> yeah. Can I, like, make a perception check? You can. Just look around. Keep an eye on things. Mm -hmm. If I can find perception on this list. <laughs> Speaking There's... of perception checks, am I able to just make a perception check, like, whenever it's not with very this thing good. on? Whenever you're asleep, yes. 
Okay. Can I make one? Um, yes. Go for it. Just make one every shift. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where? It's actually a good rule of thumb if we're doing campfires and he's got the thing. Yeah. Hold on. My chat has become a window separate of the normal window. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> it's okay. I fixed it. <laughs> Um, Pen, you keep a lookout. It's there's a lot to look at. <laughs> um, yeah. And given that everything kind of tries to catch your eye, it's hard to really see if there's anything out there. Sensory overload. <laughs> kind of. Um, Especially because it's still day. It's still daytime, and um. This sort of, like, you look into the forest, and there's just, like, the shadows of the trees shifting slightly with the breeze, and the sun is still, like, out and, like, breezing through them, and you just, it's hard to focus on anything in particular, but you don't, nothing jumps out of you that you can see. Cool. Nothing uh, jumps out of your body. No, uh, that's good. Nothing jumps out of your body, alien stuff. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> um, Noah, you are asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and you've never done this before. And it's very strange. Once you're, like, unconscious with this mask on, it's... It takes a while before you start dreaming. And mm. the dreams are very fluid. All of these shapes and colors, it just kind of mix. And it's almost like you can see the beach that you'll sleep on. But then it shifts and it's a forest and then it shifts again and now you're kind of underwater or it just keeps changing and it's a very vague imprint of where you are around you. Mm. And um, you can see all of your friends asleep around the fire just sort of they have this strange kind of glow to them that like feels familiar when you look at them you like you look at them you're like oh yeah that's merit that's pen that's those are the people i traveled with and yeah. it's a dream so of course you're like that's fine that's how they look <laughs> <laughs> um and you look into the woods and then the ocean and then the swamp and whatever else, all of these shifting colors and places, and you see tiny lights in the distance that look like something alive. The similar lights to what your friend is, but it's too far away to tell if it's your friend. Huh. Like, how far away are we talking? Um... Within visual range of being awake, which is like a mile. <laughs> like through the woods? Yeah, it's like you can see these vague lights as if they are, they don't, aren't affected by physical objects. Huh, okay. But, yeah. um, seeing them does not alarm you into awaking. Yeah. And you continue to sleep. Okay. So anyway, back to that. <laughs> uh, I don't really have anything else to say. Yeah. Um, you with Dahlia sit for a <laughs> while and stalwart. <laughs> yeah. Every time, every now and then, you kind of glance back into the, the woods, and it's the same kind of feeling of like I cannot spot anything in there, and it's kind of upsetting. <laughs> yeah. Um. But the the hours tick by, and eventually, your shift comes to a pass, and Dahlia gets up, nods to you, and says, "Get some rest." Pen nods. And pokes for his lawn. 
Dahlia kicks Rizzle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Friendship. Rizzle sort of just goes, Oh, fall <laughs> And then slowly starts getting up and goes, Oh, oh right, okay. <laughs> Snickers. <laughs> oh, Goes nice. lay down. <laughs> um, my, my question still stands because I love campfires, but here's the thing I have the last one. <laughs> I'm afraid of having a headache. No, I was about to say, we are yeah. gonna leave it here. <laughs> Rizlon wakes, and now he has his choice. Rizlon wakes, and we'll leave it for next Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> the finger. Prepare. Prepare yourself. Prepare thyself. Honestly, Be prepared. weeks are way too long. What? Hmm? Weeks are too long, and I suffer. Hey, same. Yeah. I made that point on Twitter. I'm just like waiting for everything that I'm currently interested in, and it's suffering. <laughs> yep. Arcana, the new game plus Masquerada. D and D <laughs> suffering. <laughs> so yeah, two Noahs. Two Noahs. Two Noahs yeah. chilling in a hot tub, five feet apart. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that either. <laughs> Fine, two Noahs chilling in a hot tub on top of each other because they're gay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds much better. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds right to me. Attracts. <laughs> no, 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 he would definitely fuck himself. Of course he would. <laughs> okay, here's the question though. Would he do it as a dragon or normal? No. Oh. Yes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was supposed to be like, is it going to bother him? I would think not. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay, Reverence would fuck herself too. Okay. So I'm putting back on Kaylin's shit. So most but y'all are like, now nah, yeah. Now nah, yeah. Like, yeah. Would, yeah. Would the majority of the party, yeah I'd <laughs> Yeah I would. I'd fuck me. With this. <laughs>